May 5th, 1900. Dear Mr. Carpenter, I regret to inform you my diagnosis indicates you have approximately six months to live. That was 67 years ago. <laughs> Any undue exertion will just shorten that time. Sorry, Dr. Walter Kelp. P.S. Enclosed is my bill for 75 cents. The extra quarter is for a house call. <laughs> That was two weeks before he was frozen. Well, now that he's thawed out again, that means he has only six months more to live. Well, I've been working on the railroad. All the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear those whistles blowing? Rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Six months. Once upon a time out in California, a 67-year-old man lived with his 33-year-old son. Meanwhile, up in Fairbanks, Alaska, there was this big avalanche. Get the connection? Get out. Two days ago, there was an avalanche in Alaska. A frozen object was discovered that's been identified as your father. After all these years. But, Mr. Carpenter, there's something I haven't told you. I'd like to bring the body back here. Your father's alive. Alive? Whatever your father may be chronologically, physically and mentally, he hasn't aged today since he fell in that glacier. Your father, for all intents and purposes, is 33 years old. Not bad for 101. Don't look a day over 90. <laughs> What are you doing on the floor? Playing with my grandson. <laughs> 